It's Thursday, March 2nd, and if you use a computer, you've probably seen this little sticker on it somewhere, letting you know that your Facebook posts and cat videos are happening due to Intel's dominance in the computer chip business. But there's another computer chip maker, Advanced Micro Devices, or AMD, that we don't hear about very much, although that may be about to change. Here at DT, Matt Smith has been putting AMD's new Ryzen 7 1800X chip through its paces, and he's here to report that the CPU has what it takes to compete against Intel and at a price that puts it in reach of most people who like to build their own computer systems. The Ryzen 7 packs eight cores against the 10 in Intel's top core i7 model, and while it isn't quite as fast as Intel's fastest, it's still pretty damn fast and at a price far below Intel's premium offerings. Is it a viable non-Intel option for computer builders and OEMs to drop into their machines? Depends somewhat on what the computer will be doing, so check out Matt's review for a full technical and performance breakdown of the new AMD Ryzen series of silicon CPUs. Today is the big day for Snap Inc., maker of the super popular Snapchat photo app and those funky fresh spectacle video glasses, as the company's IPO got off to a healthy start, opening at 24 bucks a share, which is a good $7 a share above what analysts thought it might start at. That makes Snap worth about $30 billion, which makes it one of the strongest tech IPOs since Facebook, and one of the most overvalued, according to some analysts. Like a lot of tech companies hoping to leverage a big IPO into becoming a profitable business, Snap is still a money loser, something 26-year-old founder Evan Spiegel is certainly aware of, despite just becoming a billionaire on paper that's about to marry Victoria's Secret super angel Miranda Kerr, who is seven years his senior. Should be quite the wedding. Can Spiegel guide Snap to the calm seas of positive cash flow? There are rumors that a Snap drone and other products are under consideration, and Snapchat is used by what seems like every teenager and 20-something on the planet, so hey, maybe we should buy a few shares. Remember when artificial intelligence was just a sci-fi movie plot device and not running everything in your house and your life in general? Ah, uh, memories. Well, get ready for more AI everywhere as Google has announced that its Google Assistant AI is coming to any device running Android 6.0, Marshmallow, and above. That's a whole lot of devices. Google Assistant was only available on Google's Pixel phones, Google Home devices, and some other tech via the Allo app, but starting today, a 6.0 update will replace Search with Assistant. This is either the start of a tech nirvana brought to you by Google or the beginning of a descent into Skynet dystopia. Okay, Google, open the pod bay doors, uh, please. That's it for DT Daily today. Get more news on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And of course, be sure to tune in to Trends with Benefits, our weekly roundtable podcast, live at 2 p.m. Pacific today, where we'll be talking about the Nintendo Switch, among other topics. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow.